you're doing well today. Welcome back to my channel. Well, tonight I'll be making New Year's Day food, uh, and we usually have cornbread with it. But I saw uh, an episode of Pioneer Woman yesterday morning, and she made cheese cayenne biscuits. And I said that would be perfect for us because we like the cayenne pepper and we like the cheese. And I've never tried it before, so I thought I would try it and uh, bring you along. And I have all my ingredients measured out. It shouldn't be too long. And I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you try the recipe. I think it's going to be great. We're going to make some breakfast sandwiches out of it. So stay tuned. Here's some sizzling in the background. That's Ella making some sausage. So I'm going to uh, go by the recipe, and I'm going to read it along as I go. So here is three cups of all-purpose flour. Now, these, uh, uh, these biscuits intrigue me because there's a couple of different ingredients I've never tried, so I was very anxious to try it. Now, I hope I remember all the ingredients I measured out in these containers because uh, sometimes I forget. But uh, my buttermilk and my shortening and my butter are very cold. I kept them in the freezer. Uh, let's start with our dry ingredients. Now, this is one heaping tablespoon sorry, of baking powder. So we're going to add that in. Uh, we're also going to add in two teaspoons of salt. And I went a tiny bit light on the salt because my butter is salted. Now, uh, I already forgot my ingredients, I think. This is, let me read my paper, I'm so sorry. That was a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And I'll, I'll list the recipe underneath the video, I'm so sorry. This is, what is this? This is the baking powder. Okay, that was the salt and the cream of tartar, I apologize. Now, it calls for one tablespoon of sugar, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use two. And this is a third of a cup of uh, non-fat dry milk powder that's going in. And also we need a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And you can totally leave that out if you want to. I thought I would go ahead and try that. So that's our dry ingredient. So let's give this a nice mix. I also, I, I'm, I couldn't remember exactly how many biscuits she used, but I have two. Uh, this is, these are the only cast iron skillet. Well, I have a big cast iron skillet, but I have these two or uh, oiled or sh with shortening. Let's mix this up. And we're also, we're going to blend in with a pastry blender. You could do this in the food processor as well. But in this bowl, I have a, a whole stick of butter cubed and I have half a cup of buttered flavored shortening. You could use any shortening you like. So we're just going to dump this in, and I'm going to work this in with the pastry cutter, and it's going to only take me a few minutes. Uh, I kind of like to mix it around with my hands a little bit before I touch my pastry cutter. So I'm just going to mix this in, and when I get to the uh, pea-sized crumbs, I'll bring it back. You can see there's a couple of large pieces of butter or shortening, but that's fine. It's a... Uh, very well combined. I like it just like this. I hope you can see that. You want to leave it, keep it cold. And this is a little kind of, a little bit extra than, it's a little bit more than a cup of, uh, this is sharp cheddar cheese. And I grated it myself. So we're going to give this a little mix. I'm just going to use my hands. I love trying new biscuit recipes and I haven't tried that many actually. Now, there's a biscuit recipe on my channel that does fairly well, and I have to tell you, that has been my favorite biscuit by far for uh, some time now. It's our go-to recipe, but this one seems so interesting to me. Okay, and also, I don't know if I said to preheat the oven to 450. You want to preheat it to 450, and I'm not using convection today. Now, this is a cup of buttermilk, whole buttermilk, I think, and I'm just going to add... Uh, most of it and we'll see and you know what you might want to wear an apron we've been having so much fun cooking guys making videos and uh, that cabbage soup I made oh my goodness it is so different but it's so delicious okay we might need more buttermilk than what I have this is way too dry hold on let me get a little bit more about about half of a cup and the reason I've kind of made heaping cups of flour so that might be why, 
add that little extra buttermilk. And you never know, it depends on the flour you're using. But we want a wet, kind of a, a wet sticky dough is what she had. And that's the kind of dough I prefer. Let me mix it. This looks just about right. And I need to get my uh, extra flour so I can have it ready to dump out. Let's see. You don't want to over mix it, they always say. I just mix it until I want to, though. Let's add one more little drop, I think. Let's add it all. All right. This is going to be so delicious. You could put green onions in here, parsley. Uh, there's so many options. I think I might be trying a new biscuit. New biscuit recipes on my channel. I love them. Especially in the winter time. To turn the oven on, it's really nice. Okay, that's pretty sticky. So I'm going to take this off. Actually, let me clean my hands. And I'll be right back. Ella's going to cut the camera off. Some extra right flour. Back. And you know, I forgot my trick about taping my... Uh, Matt, but that's okay. And I got a little extra flour over here. We're just going to dump this onto here. I don't know if I mixed it exactly the right way. Sometimes when I'm in too much of a hurry, and I apologize, I start talking too fast. Okay, let's take that off. And we're going to put it, like a little flour on top. I don't want to over flour it, but I also want to be able to pat it down. And I'm just going to use my hands, I think, kind of shape it. I mean, it depends on how thick you would like them. I like mine uh, fairly thick. I'm trying to make it as even as I can. Sometimes I don't get it as even as I would like, but. Okay, that looks about right. So let's get one of these hot pans and uh, let's dip this in a little flour. And I wanna make them, I like them kind of thick. And it's gonna be a little sticky. Cut these out, oh, there's Oh, isn't that nice? Look at that. And you can fold them over and make layers if you'd like to. There's so many things you can do. But I'm just going to leave mine this way. That's kind of how she did it on TV that day. And when, oh, They're sticking, so I'm just going to put them in the pan. I should flour my thing again. Okay, this one I think is full. I think I can put one in the middle though. I don't know if you can see this pan. I'm gonna shove this one right here. I'm gonna brush off the XX flour a little bit. Let's see if we press this one down, we can make one more. I'm gonna fill this pan. And if I have to, I'll just use another pan. But before I put these in the oven, I'm gonna brush them with some buttermilk or butter. So let's take these out. I had a bigger pan and I should have grabbed that, but that's okay. These are ready to go. And this one's really sticky. I kind of like mine a little bit close together. Okay, I think that's about all that's gonna fit in this pan. So I'll figure out what, the rest, what I'm gonna do with the rest of this dough. My hands are messy, but I'm gonna brush these with a little butter. I don't know if I can show you. You could use uh, milk, buttermilk. It was going to help me out here. My hands are filthy. I'm going to brush them with a little butter. And I think they take about 10 to 12 minutes because your oven is on 450, don't forget. And also it depends on the thickness of your biscuit. So we'll be back when we take these out of the oven. I have more biscuits than I thought. So I'm going to do a test and I'm going to put these in the air fryer. I sprayed this with non-cooking spray. Now, you know, the, the re-rolled biscuits are never as pretty as the first biscuits. But I'm just going to put these in here. And I'm probably going to bake them at 400 because the air fryer is convection and it's pretty hot. But this is what they look like. So I'll let you know how long it takes. to show you all a shot of the biscuits in the oven. They're rising pretty well. So I'm excited. Now I probably should have baked them about 370. 
They're, I brushed them with butter, but they still look good. The, the bottom didn't brown as well, but the, the, the top did. But I haven't tasted them yet. They're going to be, I think they're going to be good, but my oven ones are not quite ready yet. But I think they're going to be gorgeous. I'm praying. It's going to be so exciting. Biscuits. They took about 18 minutes, actually, at 450. And the bottoms are, are, are uh, uh, pretty brown. They're not burnt, but they're brown. They're crusty. A nice crust is what I want to say, not crusty. But I'm gonna, I love to brush them with butter. And I like to use salted butter. And we tasted the one in the air fryer, and it is delicious. And it's not too spicy. The cayenne is barely noticeable. So if you want them spicy, I would add a little bit extra. But we're gonna make some break, uh, actually it's gonna be supper sandwiches, but we're gonna make breakfast sandwiches. Breakfast sandwiches. So we have lots of biscuits. So this is what they look like, they're very hot, but uh, see that's a nice little color on the bottom, <laughs> but a nice fluffy biscuit. So let me let them cool off a little bit and we will. Huh. Well, we made, decided to make biscuit sandwiches and we have egg, cheese, and sausage on here. And Ella made some delicious homemade hash browns. So I'm gonna try to give this a taste while making a mess. Oh, and by the way, I like a little tiny bit of grape jam on my biscuits. I like it a little sweet and salty, but I'm trying not to make a mess. Mmm. I don't know. These biscuits are outstanding. And the bottoms are crispy, and the inside is really tender and moist. It's so good. And the cayenne pepper, you can barely, you can feel it at the end a little bit, but it's not too spicy. It's, it's really worth trying. Now, I want to say it's Ellis homemade hash browns. We all cooked together as a family. We had a great time. We have a lot of biscuits, though. Mm -hmm. It makes, we made, I think it came on 15. Mmm. So good. You have to try this recipe. And I did get it from the Pioneer Woman. And uh, I really like her recipes. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys want a hash brown recipe, I mean, you guys yeah. just ask. If you want a hash brown recipe, then let us know. We'll, we'll, we'll try to make that. But thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.